AITA for refusing to let my parents put a tracker on my 28F phone. I am not the original poster. That is you, Walker123. She posted in R, am I the asshole? Mood spoiler. Hopeful ending. Less than. Original post. June 4th, 2023. Context. My. 28F. Life has not turned out the way I wanted it to. I still live at home with my parents. Who are extremely controlling. All my friends have left the country and so I'm on my own a lot. Most of my time is spent at home. At work or going on solo walks. I don't drink. I don't go to the gym or play sports anymore. I don't have hobbies outside the house. I haven't dated anyone for 7 years. All in all a very uninteresting life. My one solace is being outdoors in nature and walking. My parents aren't happy with this. They think women shouldn't go on walks by themselves as it is dangerous. In their words, I know it would be better to ease their concerns if I had someone to go on walks with but I don't. My mom has been trying to get me to put, share my location, on my phone with her for years. I understand that she worries about my safety. However, the big problem for me is I know it is not just about my safety. She'll use it to become my stalker. I know this because she has my dad share his location with her and visa versa. She sits and stares at her screen and will say things like, Oh your father has just left tennis. Oh your father has just arrived at work. Oh your father is leaving the pub. Not that I've anything to hide. But it is the one boundary I've held on to and I have been so proud of myself for not caving. Today's events. Today I decided that I'd take a trip up the coast and go for a walk along the sea. I told my parents about my plans. 10.30 am. My mom asked that I call her and keep in touch. Once I got there. 2 pm. I called her and told her where I was. I also told her what walk and route I would be taking. I didn't tell her when I would be home. But she also didn't ask. I also didn't message to say I was on my way home. My parents were furious when I arrived back. 8 pm. My dad told me that I no longer had a say and that it was mandatory for me to have a tracker on my phone. I told him that I had done everything asked of me. I had called, explained where I was going etc. I also said they could have called me if they were concerned about my whereabouts. So as a result, I've been punished. The car that I drive is technically my dad's and so he has taken the keys away. He says that I can buy my own car or grant them access to my tracking information. They said they would never do this to me. Hold the fact they bought the car over my head. Also, it makes no sense for me to buy a new car now. I'm at the final stage of a graduate recruitment process and if I am successful, I will be moving to London in September. However, I need to survive between now and then and without a car the little life I have is impossible. So, AITA for refusing to let them put a tracker on my phone when their concern is my safety? Edit. My dad hasn't told me that he has taken the keys. I've a work event today. Day after post. And he plans for me to not find them when I need to go. Relevant comments. Your parents are incredibly toxic. But you may need to put up with this until you can get out. I am in my bedroom with my door closed and my dad just walked past and said, stupid bitch, at my door, trying not to cry that my wonderful day has been ruined. It does feel toxic. Can you take public transport? Yes I can but the public transport system here is not very good. My work is a 10 minute drive away but via public transport it would take me an hour. I do work from home most days though so that is something. I could also go to parks that are within walking distance for some outdoors. Do you pay to live there? I only pay a nominal amount of £200 a month as per my dad's request I do feel guilty about it as I know people normally give a lot more than that. Does your dad know your mom stalks him? Yes. He does and doesn't seem to mind.
Do they pay for your phone? They don't pay for my phone. Though the car is theirs. Unfortunately the car I bought had an engine failure. I just couldn't afford to buy another car so this was the compromise solution. I had actually been considering asking to buy the car from them but it now seems silly. Especially with the London move potentially happening and this drama. Oop is voted NTA. With many people offering resources and tools for her to get out. Update post. September 12th, 2023. Three months later. Hi everyone. Quick update for anyone who is interested. Recap. My parents wanted to put a tracker on my 28F phone for my safety. I said no and was called a stupid bitch. Drama ensued. Original post here. Update. Things were very frosty the next couple of days. My mom eventually came to me and said that she was going to address the elephant in the room. She said that she was very disappointed in me but, as I didn't care about her, she will just have to live without it. The tracker on my phone. I think she expected me to cave at that point but I didn't. I said, thank you for understanding, and that was it. The car keys were returned to the drawer and nothing more was said about it from anyone. Including my dad. To this day, I have no idea why the 180 degree flip happened. Although you all helped me realize that I have an unhealthy codependent relationship with my parents. I think it will just take time to set boundaries and learn how to be my own person. I still love them a lot and I know they love me too. Even though we aren't the type of family that says so. Which leads me to my other news. I got the job in London. I have officially moved out and am living there now. It still feels surreal. I know it is going to take some time to get used to living independently but I am ready to be my own person and learn how to do things on my own. Honestly, I had given up hope that this day would ever come. I feel so much happier and can genuinely say I am proud of myself. If anyone has any tips for living away from home for the first time, please let me know. Finally, thank you for all your support and giving me the push I needed. I was in a very dark place and now feel like I can start living my life. Thank you. Small edit. People are asking about the car, asking me to check it for trackers. To clarify, I didn't bring the car with me so can't check it. Probably for the best. Relevant comments. Put your parents on an information diet. So I am struggling with the information diet thing. I am so used to calling my mom multiple times a day about anything and everything. It feels like it is a habit and weird not to call them. So that's on me. I need to learn to be able to go longer without talking to them and not telling them everything. About everything. But I am finding that hard right now. That 180 degree flip probably happened because you stood your ground. Thank you. It was really hard to stand my ground. I do think that this is what happened. Not that they put a tracker elsewhere as they aren't that tech savvy. Especially my mum lols. Dot quote. You said you have a codependent relationship with your parents. But don't downplay their toxicity. They're manipulative and weren't treating you well. It does look bad when written out like this tbh. I guess I'm just used to it. Wow. The hold these people have over Roop is intense. I hope she can claw her way to freedom and independence without too harsh of a struggle. This sounds like Indian origin parents 100%. The idea of parents putting trackers in their children's car, phone and so on is honestly pretty creepy. It perfectly demonstrates that they are controlling and more likely wanting to hold up forever. It's honestly creepy and scary that people put trackers to always follow you and all. I hope Op is able to have her freedom and move away from her controlling parents. That 180 degree flip probably happened because you stood your ground. Nah. The 180 degrees degree flip was because mum put an air tag somewhere. 
She wouldn't have to be tech savvy, as she's already familiar with the Find My Location feature. Boop needs to check her handbags, coat, purse etc. No way mom was going to let her live in London unwatched. I bet they went that far because she was already planning to leave. This was the last chance to keep her on a leash. 100% chance there is a tracker in the car or in the key fob. Am I the only one who thinks the 180 degrees change is because they managed to track up without the phone? My mom was like that. Only she didn't know about location sharing. If she did she would have asked me to do it too. It was so overbearing and sometimes humiliating to be 28 years old and at 6 p.m. mommy would call. Asking why I wasn't home yet. Cause my work finished as 5. She was all over me. Like if she could crawl in my skin she would. Ugh. I now live in a different country than her and don't talk to her often. I don't really have happy feelings when I think of her or remember her. I don't know if I love her but I know I don't like her very much. And it confuses me sometimes seeing people have a working loving supportive relationship with their parents. Cuz I can't relate. Wow. Congratulations Oop on the move and standing your ground. Best wishes to you. I think the 180 change the parents did was them realizing it was futile to lock down the op when the op was going to leave anyway. I think they want the op to want to come back to them and not have a bad taste in the mouth as the OP's memory of them. Maybe they want to reap the benefits of her new job. I don't know I'm cynical. I'm so happy that she got the job. I hope she got lots of good tips for how to live alone in her post. I know I could have used some when I lived alone from 18 since my mom wasn't really a good role model. Money-wise so doing a budget and all that I learned from TV shows XD. I really hope Oop finds a good therapist if only so her life can be laid out for her so she can see. The big picture. I'm glad she got the job and finally moved out. Hopefully things look up from here. They put a tracker in your car or found another way to track you without you being aware of it. WTF this woman is 28 the parents need to let go and she needs to start living her own life yeesh. The parents are most like key looking for was to prevent their victim. I mean daughter. Leave them and their house, control. Pretty sure taking the keys is an attempt to mess with the job and have op lose out on the opportunity and install a tracker on the car if oop sees this and wants a london friend i'd be happy for her to reach out and dm me 33f these apps come up often and i will always point out that these phone trackers like life 360 are really good tools in the right hands and with the right family dynamic I've had it on my phone for a decade I live alone and in a different city to my parents. For me it's a bit of extra security and for my parents a bit of peace of mind. They don't stalk me with it and I've never felt uncomfortable. I've also used it for friends when we did a trip to New York. Very useful. And with other groups of close friends it once helped us recuse someone in a crisis. Who ran off after a fight in an unknown city. I encourage friend with kids to look into it you can give a bit more freedom with a bit of security. As long as all parties know they are being tracked. Oop. Unfortunately. Didn't have that situation with her family and I'm pleased she stood firm. But yay for her living her best life in London now. My parents used to be like this. 2. It's horrible when they just keep tabs on where you go when you'll be back what you're doing and everything in between. It's exhausting. I also know they do it out of love, which makes it worse because I love them too. But I do see what they do. They needed to realize Oop is an adult. I'm glad she found her independence. I'm so glad Oop moved out on her own. 
She really desperately needs therapy to break the codependent relationship her manipulative parents put her into. I never understood people who allow their parents to be this involved in their lives. I have a good relationship with mine. And we speak maybe once or twice a month. I also moved abroad at 20 and started my own life. If you don't break out and grow up, it gets progressively more difficult with the passing time. The oops parents must be a mix of sick that kid isn't out living their life and worried why she isn't out living her life. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.